Hi, it is good to be here. I was like just sitting backstage and like for some reason, like, you know, you should be like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this talk now, I'm gonna be really nervous, but there was like this really long corridor and I could only imagine a zombie walking down it over and over again. Uh, there were no zombies yet, but this place is a trap. Uh, <laughs> so, I, I am Tim, this is my, this is my Twitter uh, handle, so you can, you know, you can uh, tweet any, uh, cynicisms towards me. Uh, I am from Australia, uh, <laughs> land of a thousand snakes and spiders. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good place. We, we measure temperature in uh, Celsius instead of the American freedoms uh, <laughs> that I've heard so much about. Um, and, and like this, this is kind of like an interesting thing. You know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be like, oh, you know, it's just from Australia. But uh, Australia is a really laid-back place. I grew up in the country where it's like, oh, you know, everything's gonna be okay in the end, and everything's gonna really, really work out. Uh, so I kind of like bring a lot of this like relaxation or, or, or uh, non-caredness to some of the work that I do. Uh, which, which was really interesting when I came to the U.S., where like everyone is super, super passionate about everything. Uh, it's like <laughs> full on. I mean, this slide doesn't make much sense, right? Like, <laughs> none of these really do. But it was kind of like this contingency plan. Like, if we get attacked by aliens or like robots take over, they're gonna need me to decipher this whole presentation for them. Uh, so, but everyone's really, really passionate, and like, uh, as a result of that, and this kind of like ties into some of the things that Nick was saying, uh, people get upset a lot. People get really, really upset about like things that they shouldn't be getting upset about. Uh, I kind of like tied in a few examples that I thought were really funny, uh, and it's like the small things that that get people. Sometimes it's the big things. Mostly, it's it's all of the things. And this is kind of like a preface for 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 what I want to talk about. Uh, this is a great quote for for like when dro it's like in the archives of Hacker News when when drop box was released, some, some guy obviously like piped up like, for a Linux user, this is already really easy to build. Like, you can just use your FTP account mounting it locally with like, curl FTPFS using SVN and CVS. Like, no, you can't. Nobody can do that. Uh, <laughs> Th this was this was Imager as well. Like when they when they released, I don't know, four years ago on on Reddit, someone's like, anybody can make an image hosting service that doesn't suck. No, they can't. But you know, it's it's, it's kind of this is like a couple of pull requests or issues that have opened up on my projects this last week. Like this scares me. What? I, I mean, I, I closed that one. Uh, this one was like absolutely trash. Uh, <laughs> I've I've blocked out the names, but it's like public. This dude's name was Max, and I was like, you've ruined that name for me now. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, I closed this one as won't fix, but like after the after the A/B testing, I should have asked for a video uh, explaining explaining what was going on. I've got like emails personally saying like Tim, you're ruining the internet, which is uh, you know it's a little bit much. Uh, so I want and yeah, it's like I, I'm making the same analogy as Nick as well. Like these things kind of like all are like the dark side. You know, Anakin was an engineer, and it's pretty obvious why he became uh, a Sith in the end. Um, <laughs> So I want to talk about fun. I want to talk about uh, having fun with the internet. And like for no reason, like there's, there's so many possibilities and there's so many kind of random directions that we can go uh, and so much fantastic things that, that we can do. Here's a graph I made. Uh, I thought you can't have a presentation without a pie chart. Uh, this is a sample, sample group of one. Uh, and, and the pink represents the percentage of fun having when you're having fun. It's pretty, pretty statistical analysis. Uh, and like for me, this is like the most relaxing part of my day. If I'm, if I'm enjoying what I'm doing, I kind of take that, that home with me and it helps me like all around uh, feel, feel great. Uh, this is like my first kind of exposure to, <laughs> <laughs> my first kind of exposure to this and, and like kind of where I, I discovered this like zen uh, peace in myself was, was during Hurricane Sandy. Uh, where, where I made this website, it's like, it's called the useless web, uh, and it's like essentially a button, there's arrows pointing to the button, it's like uh, flamingly obvious that you need to press the button, uh, and, and I won't press it here, but pressing it uh, takes you to, to a bunch of like these crazy websites that, that like didn't really make any sense to me at the time, so I, I've got a few here. Uh, this one, eelslap.com, you can slap an eel. Uh, I was trying to think before what like the ARIA tag would be for this website, and it's like, <laughs> man slaps eel as you move your mouse, I think, that's, uh, that's it. I don't even know what happened, like if the eel slap came and then they're like, this should be a website, or, or, or like, 
what the scenario was, what was with that one. This one's great, it's like staggering beauty. It's this, uh, I don't know what you would call it, kind of thing. And you can, I don't know, you can move it fast. This is kind of like epileptic warning, like close your eyes. Ah, it goes crazy. This sound too, do we have sound? I love sound uh, for, for a later thing. Uh, and this is another one. This is like beesbeesbees.com. Uh, <laughs> and the ARIA tag would be great for this. <laughs> uh, that is phenomenal. And this invokes the feeling of not being able to even, or as the kids would say, I can't even. Uh, that's the best way to describe kind of what's going on there. Uh, and, and this was amazing for me. Like, I made this website, and, and I, I was just like looking at the, looking at the stats for it. Uh, and this month, this month, it got uh, it like 2.7 million visitors, and everyone stayed for like 10 minutes, which I kind of did a quick calculation, which may or may not be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's right, uh, of like 50 years of time spent on this website this month from the world. And like that, yeah, that's a... <laughs> I, I kind of start to feel like maybe I've had like a negative dent on some kind of economy there, uh, <laughs> which, is, which is nice. Uh, and like, why does this thing, like, why does this exist? And why, this is a picture of me at work. Why, what's going on? Uh, and like, there is no reason. I've just kind of like resigned to accept that there's no real reason behind this stuff. It's, it's just like a pleasant, uh, pleasantness that we have. Um, uh, and so like, I, you know, when I was pitching this talk, I kind of, it was like a little bit of a mix between like uh, some of the fun things that I've made and some of like the, the ways that I've thought about things as I'm making them, uh, you know, try, like ideally to kind of like inspire everybody. Uh, so I like to look both ways at, at things that, that I'm implementing. Um, the first example I, I want to go through is passwords. We all, we all, you know, we all understand, we all like have the knowledge to be like, oh, you need like X and Y and B to, to make a strong password. This is some, uh, oh yeah, I got this great, it's like a slide of a slide. And if anyone wants to take a picture for later use, they can have three inceptions of the slide. <laughs> Uh, passwords are like pants, you know, you shouldn't leave them out where people can see them, you should change them regularly, and you shouldn't loan them out to strangers. Uh, we understand passwords are great. This is like some of the, some of the, uh, like, alerts people have got, like, please choose a password with, like, lowercase and uppercase, you know, we all, we all understand this. Like, this is, it's, it starts to, like, get cynical in my head. I'm like, this one's like, short passwords are easy to guess, and now the computer's telling me, like, what's going on. Here's another one, like, your password is too simple, and now I'm, like, offended by this, I'm like, Thank you. And look, it's not even a small password. You can see it's like 15 characters there. Too simple. Uh, so the next logical conclusion, of course, was to make my own password algorithm. Uh, and, I, and it's this website. It's the passive-aggressive password machine. Um, <laughs> To give you know what the computer is kind of really thinking, so like as you as you type in your password, like I need a password, like you'd call that a password. Uh, do you even know what a password is? This is kind of like this is pretty much real. This is what I this is what I see the computers saying to me when they tell me my password's weak. Uh, it needs more emoji. <laughs> Toddlers eat passwords like mashing your head. Are you taking this? I don't know. You get you get pretty far, and it's like you're not going to even remember. <laughs> This is, this is my, my experience with passwords. Uh, uh, and it was kind of like another foray, a foray into that area. Uh, there's like a lot of crap we deal with on the internet. Uh, there's, a great, there's a great talk from uh, Brad Far Frost talking about like death to bullshit's the name. Uh, it's a fantastic talk. Uh, and he kind of like talks about some of the crazy things that are online and, and like why we should not be doing them at all. And I kind of, you know, I, I agree in a sense and, and I've kind of like come to this acceptance that we can't always be like that. You know, these companies need to make money and these, these like pop-ups need to exist. Uh, this is a great, I, I had to include this because it was like the most amazing pop-up I've ever seen. Uh, and it's selling itself, which is incredible. Uh, so it's like, quadruple your signups, like, enter your details here. It's got like an audio thing. What kind of like devil spawn is that? Uh, <laughs> Uh, but I've had to build things like this. I worked in advertising. You can't, you can't not do it. Sometimes, like you know, that's that's just what uh, what's called for. So I kind of got to thinking, like, how could I make this stuff worse? How could I, how could I, like, go so far and so deep that it's like the most annoying uh, web feature in existence? Uh, and I and I came up with this 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 uh, UI concept. Uh, it's called like can't not tweet. This is the website kind of uh, demoing it. And I kind of thought, like, as you scroll down the page, maybe the tweet button. Should should just stick to your mouse. <laughs> you know, 
That's like 30,000 people have tweeted it, and I don't know anymore if it's actually working, and it's like, I, I, it should be tested, but... And it's kind of got like this subliminal messaging in the background as well, which is, which is for added effect. Uh, that's, that's like really going deep with that stuff. Uh, I play a lot with interactions. Um, I, I lean like heavily towards the front end and love making things on the front end. Uh, and uh, this, is, this is kind of like a, this is a website that I built for a friend uh, for his app. It's called like Authentic Weather, if it loads. Uh, and like at the time, everybody was, all the designers were designing weather apps. And this guy made his app and he was like, Tim, can you help me make the website? Which is nowhere as, near as exciting uh, as, the app, as the app. You know, it's a couple of buttons here and there's like some, you know, some Instagram stuff. And a lot of swear words, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, and and he's, he's a really nice guy. He's a really great designer. And, and he, he kind of says, like, Tim, you know, just play around. Do, do, do whatever you like. Have some fun uh, with the things. Uh, that you're doing. And this was the, the blue buttons in there, and I thought, like, you know, how can I, like, inject a bit of a story into these buttons? Uh, so, like, if you hover this button, it's like, how are you today? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. It's a good life, being a button. <laughs> the work is hard, but enjoyable. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> um, uh, this button's like a little bit afraid, but the ones on the website are more like, click, 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 why aren't you clicking? What's going on? Uh, but it's nice, you know, this is like a strange thing. This is a button, and, and uh, you've got so much opportunity to, to like sneak in creativity and sneak in uh, weird, like fun little things that just kind of like brighten everybody's day and make everything uh, just like a little bit more exciting. And this is like the nice way of doing this. Uh, like I said before, I kind of like sometimes want to go the opposite way and be like, how could this be the bad way? Um, and, and so I, I have this, this open source, this fantastic open source library uh, called GIFLINKS. Uh, and so the, the orange words here are, are like text, and you know you're going to hover it because like, oh, what's it going to do? Uh, and you could do like a rainbow effect or anything, but it was like, since the dawn of the internet, and you hover and bam, <laughs> internet. Uh, the world has been asking, why are hover interactions so boring? Only recently, a new paradigm has arisen to solve this emotionally crippling problem. Designers call them GIF links. Uh, a little known fact, but nine out of 10 UX specialists <laughs> agree that GIF links provide a richer, more enhanced user experience, which can be tailored specifically for the enjoyment of your audience. Uh, uh, this is where I got emails of like you're ruining the internet because this is like this hover state is like the equivalent of the computer punching you in the face. Um, uh, but like I've also got like a bunch of people using it and I'm I'm, I'm not quite sure that they understand the joke, but that's okay. Um, uh, animation is a, is another great thing. You know we're using like increasingly more and more animations uh, on our on our site, uh, and you can kind of do anything with animations. Uh, you can kind of go any direction. So uh, this is a website, uh, and yeah, oh, and maybe they like should go into the DOM. So like this is a website I built. This is kind of like the jerk off some fancy animations to start with, uh, and it's like oh this is for like a beard oil. Of course I'm going to build a, a website for beard oil, uh, <laughs> but. Uh, I was like, again, like, oh, if you want to play around with the animations, I could get this, like, winking dude in here. <laughs> That's nice. It's not even on the site. It's like a surprise for, for everyone else. Uh, I also, you know, while we're here, I made the terrible mistake of trying to name all my CSS classes after types of beards. And, like, <laughs> pretty much added about four hours dev time to this because I was really, really confused. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, Oh, and, and, and of course, like, I made this, I made this into, into a library as well. So like, you know, here you can see like, this monkey doing the same thing. So like, anyone can do this, and you can get it, and you can plug it into this site, and it's got like, a nice API. You know when I'm making something silly, I'm also like, you know, if, I was, if it were to be functional, I should make it functional as well. Uh, so, so that's that one. Uh, you know, sometimes it's just like oddities on the net, and sometimes you kind of want to play around uh, with, with what's odd and, and what's happening at the time. Uh, so scrolling is a big one. 
Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to work without the sound, but uh, we have, this kind of came from like a Tumblr hack day, and I, I released it maybe just last week. Uh, you know those back to top buttons, and you kind of click this button, and it takes you to the top. Uh, I've heard them like be called various things. Uh, the other day I heard like a rocket ship whoosh button, uh, which, is, which is nice, and we kind of called ours an elevator. Uh, and, I, and I made this library, elevator.js. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. If there's no sound, it's not going to make any sense. But you like scroll like all the way to the bottom, and there's like a button that's going to take you to the top, and like it plays elevator music. So it's like, ding. And this is this has been really popular. I like shared this last week, and and you know, there's like a place for jokes like this, and that place isn't like Hacker News or or anything. But like that's where it ended up because like somebody decided like this is where we're gonna put it. Uh, so I kind of got like a swamping of you know, it was kind of good actually. Like a lot of people uh, trying to add things. Oh, is that sound? Is that gonna work? We could experience it for real now or not, and you're gonna have to listen to me uh, say it again. You should check out that one. It's a, it's a, it's a bit of a surprise. Uh, and sometimes it's like quirks. I found like this. Uh, <laughs> I found this this funny quirk in in Safari where if you're, if you're scrolling and you're scrolling like kind of past the top of the screen, uh, the, the API on scroll or whatever is doing it uh, returns, returns negative numbers. So I kind of made this, this website over scroll where if you scroll too far, <laughs> you know, you get, you get a grumpy cat, which is, you know, I could do this forever. This was a great one to build and it's like, it doesn't even work on every platform and you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna like, win the Nobel Prize or anything, but it might, it might. Um, oh, so that's, yeah, that's over scroll. Uh, and then like sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like, I understand that like our, our community can sometimes be angry. Uh, I wanted to like give us all the tool to do that, so I made this. <laughs> Now's not the time to take a picture, but I was looking at the analytics for this and like the average time is a minute. How does anybody spend a minute doing this? I mean, maybe people just have like some emotional, emotional concerns or something like that. I, I don't know. Uh, so, uh, I, I, a quote. This is kind of like you know pulling everything together in the end. I was like, you can't have a talk without like doing a, a quote. Uh, and I and I like to include this this quote in talks that I give, uh, mostly because it's amazing. Uh, and so the quote is like, keep cool, don't freeze. And I think this is like a fantastic, uh, a fantastic piece of advice to take into like every day because we have such a shifting community. We have new tech flying in and out. We've got like a new JavaScript library every day. Uh, you kind of need. To to like take this with a grain of salt uh, and and not get like overwhelmed by it, but also like don't freeze, don't just like stop and and jump to the next thing over and over and over and over and over again, uh, because you you'll never get anywhere in the end. It's nice to like finish things and kind of move on. Uh, uh, this this fantastic piece of advice was brought to you by a jar of mayonnaise, <laughs> um, which you should not freeze. Um, so yeah, you know, like we, we need more things like this. We need more asshole JS. We need more Comcastify JS. We need more fart scroll JS. Uh, of course, we need a coding language around Doge. Uh, that's that's what we need. Of course, we need CSS for babies. What, like, looking at it provides kind of like nefarious advice. But uh, thank you.